My name is Matt Bushman. I am the botanist on the Nantahala National Forest in Western North Carolina. The Nantahala is about 650,000 acres. We are in Panthertown Valley today. This is the Panthertown Bog. Panthertown's a uh, interesting section of the Nantahala National Forest. This area is unusual in that it has some high um, rocky granite domes. So there's some rocky areas where you can see the there's no vegetation on them and there's these high rocky mountains that go down to this flat valley which is kind of unusual for this part of the world. Most of the valleys in this area are deep V's with rushing streams and water leaves pretty quickly. In this area, it's um, because it has that flat valley, a uh, bog has formed. There's about a 10 to 20 acre bog in this area in the bottom of Panthertown Valley that we're standing in today. What makes it a bog is that it is really the vegetation that occurs around here and the openness of it. There is a lot of sphagnum moss, which typifies a acidic condition in this bog. It grows in little mounds all around, and there's a bunch of wetland plants that grow out of that sphagnum. The water here is, it's groundwater. It comes off some of the surrounding mountainsides and kind of ponds in this flat valley, and then eventually slowly works its way over to Panther Town Stream, which is kind of in the middle of this bog area, and then flows out of Panther Town Valley hooks up with the Tuckasegee River and then flows on to Fontana Dam and eventually the Tennessee River. But back in the valley here, uh, this area, because of the impounded water, has some unusual wetland vegetation. It's that sphagnum bog mat, it's some of the rushes, some of the grasses, and the sedges that are unusual for this area. And then there's a bunch of um, ferns, as well as some of the shrubs. There's rhododendron, there's azalea. It's a unique part of the landscape. There are a number of threats to bogs in the mountains. Um, usually those involve development. So some sort of either dredging and filling to drain a wetland and then build a home site on it. Um, historically, a lot of these areas may have been farmed and so they would have been drained. This would have been a decent area for farming. Even though the soils are nutrient poor, once they're drained, there's a lot of organic matter in the soil. This area was not drained. Some other bogs fell victim to that, but um, in general, there aren't many mountain bogs, and so these areas aren't necessarily sought after for that sort of activity, but they can be covered up during development. This area is protected. It's under national forest jurisdiction, the Nantahala National Forest. We do some prescribed burning on some of the mountaintops around here. The idea is that we want to get fire adapted plants that would have historically been here, um, and there's some rare ones in the area that need frequent fire, in this case prescribed burning, to kind of um, open up the forest understory, allow more light and nutrients to get in, and give those plants a chance to reproduce and kind of maintain their populations on the landscape. In the future, as you look around, there is some brush cover coming into this area. We would like it to maintain in a more open condition for some of those plants and wildlife that enjoy this area. So in the future, we may look at expanding the Panther Town area in that maybe pushing back some of the tree cover that's starting to encroach on here. And what that means is doing some cutting and leaving the trees on site, possibly doing some prescribed burning in this area, just to kind of open up and keep this area in an open condition for those plants and wildlife. We have a lot of recreation hiking trails in the Panther Town Valley. There's camping here, there's horseback riding. So it is, it's an area where a lot of folks come in to do recreational activities. The general public can help Panther Town Valley by enjoying it, coming here, walking through it and taking a look at it and enjoying it for what it is and that it's a unique bog system. It's a unique area that's protected by the US Forest Service and just enjoying it. Mm -hmm.